We are back on Ring of Honor Wrestling. As we get set for a no disqualification match. Two men who have fought before. Let's go to Bobby Cruz. Holy contest is a no disqualification match. Set for one ball to a finish. Introducing first, wrestling on a pack side, New York. Weighing 191 pounds, Will Ferrara. We take you back just a few weeks ago. Two weeks ago on Ring of Honor Wrestling, when Caprice Coleman and Will Ferrara met one on one, and it broke down. It got wild. And the eventual ending, a no contest. And perhaps the one determining factor that both may have is they've both been handed envelopes by Prince Nana. It seems to be Ladies fueling the intensity of both of these men. thrown the match out. He rules in a no contest. His opponent, wrestling on Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 228 pounds, the Breeze Coleman. Mr. Wrestling 3, it was very uncharacteristic behavior from both Ferrara and Coleman when they met two weeks ago. Absolutely. Both men they are, they have such good hearts that I was very surprised at the tactics that they used against each other. And I, I'm actually looking forward. If, if you put this on paper a month ago, I would have been like, I, I can't see a no DQ match against with these two young, nice gentlemen. But there's some animosity here, and what a better place than Philadelphia for an ODQ. Hey, it seems like the right place, that this is the right time here on Ring of Honor Wrestling Television. And uh, so we'll see what happens here in this no disqualification match. Caprice Coleman and Will Ferrara. Caprice Coleman, the veteran. Will Ferrara uh, has has really stepped up his game. We saw it in 2015, 2016, just like we saw with Roderick Strong. They all want to start the year out with a win. Whoa. A little disrespect there. Hey, Willie. <laughs> it seems like the last time we met, things got a little out of hand. So they granted us with a no disqualification match and what better place to have that in than this very arena? It's true. I just said it. Yeah, that's enough, that's enough. So I'm gonna prove to you and the rest of the world that even though you got a visit from the mailman, you're still nothing more than a jive turkey. Did he just call So what not I only said? am I gonna beat you, Willie, I'm gonna beat you while looking pretty from every angle. Why? Because I have the body of a god and the face of an angel. <laughs> well, and he's got a mouthful of fist right there, courtesy of Ferrara, as the bell has sounded and it's all good here in no DQ. And we got a little Philadelphia crash and burn. Now, since being handed the envelope, Caprice Coleman has certainly gained in a lot of confidence. He's become very verbose. And what we saw a couple of weeks ago between these two, when Ferrara got his involved, his intensity has been ramped up. And we've we've said it off camera a lot of times. Maybe Ferrara's got to be be more intense. We talked to Taz before, who said that Ferrara was a student of the game, has a lot of heart, has a lot of determination, has a lot of enthusiasm, and maybe he's tired of just being the nice guy and happy to have a spot. Now, now as. Taz's uh, original student at Ferrara gets jammed into the edge of the ring frame. Caprice Coleman is able to turn it around, and now he is going to have his way with Ferrara on the outside. Midsection wide open. Oh! Caught him with the boot, missed the first time, caught him on the rebound, and Ferrara is down. Hey, 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 don't hit a. Did he just take his belt? How the heck did he do that? Well, because it's, <laughs> I think because it's legal. No, but I mean, did you see him actually take the belt? Oh! Whipping him, whipping him. Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute, Ferrara, he's back on his feet. Gorgeous German suplex. He's not gonna take that disrespect from Caprice. I don't think he's gonna take that disrespect from anyone. Ferrara grabbing the chair. Uh oh. And now Coleman's got a chair. Oh no. We saw this the last time they met. Oh, he got him. He caught him in the midsection. What? What was in those envelopes? What? What did those letters say, Mr. Kelly? Because both these men have turned it up from six to twelve. When did you see Caprice Coleman use chairs in the past? When did you see Will Ferrar use chairs in the past? And when Ferrar was competing in last year's top prospect tournament, Caprice Coleman was one of his biggest supporters. And the 2016 top prospect tournament kicks off on January oh. 9th, Concord, North Carolina. And now, zeroing in on the title. His head. Reverie Brian Gorey down to see if uh, Will Ferrar can even continue. Northern Light suplex right into that chair, the hip, the, the, the lower back, you know, the head hitting the mat. Philadelphia is used to these matches, but man, well, he's these are hard to watch oh, sometimes. Oh, no. with Ferrar with a belt, now smacking it with a steel chair right across the back, but look Wait at Ferrar. Wait a second. You can only push man too far, so far. The welts across his back. Oh, wait a second. Again, with the steel chair across the back. It's only fueling Ferrar even more. DDT uh, on the chair. Now, the DDT, is this enough? Two, and no, he kicks out. Coleman kicks out at two. Ferrar looking great. Caprice Coleman looking great. I don't know what's in those Prince Donna letters, but he, he, has, he has a way. Uh-oh. Nana has said 2016 is going to be the age of enlightenment. Certainly different than the original age of enlightenment when you think about it, because look at the violence that these two men are bringing out. It. Oh no, if you can see, part of that table's already broken. That could be dangerous. That could cut a man in his back, his neck, his chest. And now, Will Ferrara, he pointed to his head, he's got an idea. And that was to put Caprice Coleman through a table and end this no disqualification match. What a way to kick off 2016 here in Ring of Honor. Oh, break the eyes. And now, wide open for the attack. Sky splitter, sky splitter right through the table. And this one is over. The winner of the match, Caprice Coleman. Mr. Kevin Kelly, wow, that was, that was some, what a no disqualification match we have. And we can see here Prince Nana at ringside. He likes what he sees. Enthusiastic applause from Prince Nana, who has gotten exactly what he wanted. Caprice wins the no disqualification war. Coming up next, we will see Cedric Alexander in action. But don't forget about our main event.